Hey guys, we're ready to uh, start doing some some new tutorials. This time we're going to get into something beyond the um, basic uh, geometry um, standard and extended primitives. We're going to get into um, working with um, some splines. Uh, so what splines basically are is it's how you can model with uh, 2D objects. So starting with 2D objects, um, something like a like a circle, uh, you can you can start to create um, these two D objects, and then take these and and alter them to make them into something three D. So essentially, anything that you can draw, you can turn into something um, three dimensional. So this would be kind of helpful with uh, with certain custom custom shapes and objects that you might be going for. Um, so let's get into this. I'm going to uh, delete this all this stuff right here and get rid of that um okay so basics of this you're going to find this here in your um shapes and because they are 2d um and you'll see it should go straight to splines um we also have nerves curves curves um compound shapes extended splines um cfd max stuff whatever um we're going to stick with splines for right now um you'll notice that if you select the shape let's say i select circle and i start to create something here I'm going to start drawing these out. Um, what I've done here is taken these and uh, it's all connected. They're all one shape. So um, that's, you know, you can tell that by their, them being all the same color. So I'm going to take, take that out. Um, what you can do is click right here where it says start new shape. So every time I create a circle, I'm now creating different objects. So they should all work um, individually from each other. So something like that, all right? Um, so something that's good and handy to know, depending on what you want to do um, with these shapes um, and how you want to create them. Um, just a little, a little tip right there. Um, start new shape or um, create um, them individually. Uh, so here we go. Um, let's do this again. Let's go with uh, a circle. Let's throw... A star out there and this is a multi-step shape so if i click once i can then alter how i want that star to look something like that um so you can alter the different shapes you can do different radius points you know i can multiply this and change change that how i want um, another one that's kind of handy and good to know is a line tool so you can draw out your own shapes however you like um, close the spline. Once I go around all the way, just like a regular pen tool, you guys are probably familiar, familiar with that by now. So I'm going to click yes to close that. And so they are all now their own individual, individual objects. This one, weirdly enough, is colored just about the same as that, but they're individual. So now let's say I create these individual shapes and Hey, I want to, um, connect them somehow. Well, you're going to have to do something and that's convert them to an editable spline. And so once I do that, um, now I can go into the properties here and I can, um, actually, I'm going to do that for all of them. Editable spline, editable spline. And now I should be able to click on all of them. And I have the same kind of menus here that I get when I'm doing any kind of like editable poly as well. So I have vertex segment spline. Those are my choices here. So if I choose my star here and I go into this and I say vertex, all right, um, I want to see the vertex um, of that shape. Um, now I can alter these. I can move these around. So if I choose that particular vertex and I want to alter that one, I can do that. I can move that around. Um, I can take a shape that has been altered. Let me get out of that. Um, let's say I want this shape here um, attached to another shape. I want them, they were separate, now I want them to be connected. I'm going to go to attach and you'll notice now when I go to my next shape, I'm going to kind of hover over this and this weird little um, icon pops up at the circles. And I click on that. So now, um, I'm going to take that off now before I start attaching everything. Now they all work together. Um, so that's pretty handy to know. I'm going to go back into vertex and you'll see now 
it also turns on the vertex for this line shape that I created as well. Um, let's say I wanted to go in and um, do something else with with these tools. I can let's say I wanted to add something to this shape, not just an, a separate shape, but modify this somehow. I can choose a vertex here and go to my geometry and go down to where it says break. So now when I do that, I can select this and um, well, maybe I can select it and break it apart. So now I can go through and I can alter that geometry of that shape however I need to. Extend it, close it, add on to it. Um, so you can kind of see how that works out. Um, so that's kind of the basics of working with these different shapes. Um, another thing I guess I should talk about is um, working with Oops, let me get out of this. I didn't really do anything with this guy, so I'm going to just delete him. Um, getting into the line tool. You start drawing with the line tool. You have an idea of something that you want to um, extrude into something 3D. You can start clicking just like a pen tool. Click around um, to just create straight lines. If you wanted them to be absolute straight, you can hold shift and it will create your straights on a horizontal or a vertical plane. Um, so you can do that. As I hit shift, it's going to snap either one way or the other. Um, snap it into place. If I click and drag, then you become you start to create what's known as the Bezier curves. And so you can alter that. And then once you end up back at your point, you can it'll ask you if you want to close the spline and you say yes. And there you go. So you can modify this, you can extrude these, you can do what's called a lathe on some of these objects and shapes. So it makes things really easy to, um, makes it really easy to customize a two dimensional shape into something 3D. So we're gonna get into how to extrude these and do different, um, different options for these splines um, in the next one. So thanks a lot and we will talk at you later, bye.